All right. I'm back. Another day, another stream. Um, you know, I had to come back and I had to use my thumbnail. I absolutely despise streaming on fight days, fight nights. I'm on. Welcome, bro. But yeah, I'm here and that's it. That's all that matters. So great. I'm on. I am phenomenal. How you doing, bro? Um, my prediction for Islam Makachev versus Thiago Moses or Moises. Uh, Islam Makachev, he's going to get it done. He's going to be dominant and finish Thiago probably like in the fourth, fifth round, if anything, which the thing is Thiago Moses, he has never been finished in his MMA career. So it should be very interesting, but I got Islam finishing him. I really do. Okay. I'm on. I like it. You're the first one here. Let's go. What's new, Amon? What's new in the life of Amon? Shit. That's that's good to hear. Good to fucking hear. So much happened while I was gone. Connor, Connor McGregor fucking lost, man. Uh, broke his fucking leg. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Ah. Uh. It was extremely... Oh, shit. Hold up, hold up. I forgot. How can I forget? What the fuck, mate? Oh, what the fuck? What did you forget? You were you were uh, rooting for Dustin. Oh, the TTS. What's up? Text to speech. Review. Welcome back, bruh. I, I really, I'm really, okay, ha, I really ha, ha. like text to speech. It's it's fun. Okay, yeah, back to Connor breaking his leg. Um, yeah, I agree. No fighter deserves any of that. Uh, it's tough. It's a sad ending, but you know, that's the fight game. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to read the chat then. Pretty smart. Exactly, Amon. Exactly. Makes it, makes everything smoother. And, and it also, like, it makes the viewers, like you guys, have, like, a, a voice in a way. Um, what do you guys think Connor should do? I think he should he should uh, recover and come back. I really do. The people who are saying he should retire, that's I like not it right. A lot. I mean, he's thirty three years of age, still in his prime. He can make a comeback. Oh, 
I can't believe I'm losing to Fook and Robbie Lawler. Fuck. I'm not focused. Um, okay. Who else is fighting today? Uh, Misha Tate making a comeback. Misha Tate looks in, in great, great shape. Um, I believe she's going to win. It's a good comeback fight. I mean, the girl she's fighting, I haven't heard he of her. He can make a comeback, yeah, but he'll probably she's be nine near and 34 seven. by then and inactive. He doesn't have that spark anymore. I agree. I agree. He doesn't have that spark. It's so weird. Ah, oh, man. It's tough. He's done it all. He's He's been through it all. I mean, good for Connor, but... Oh, yeah, and Jeremy yeah, Stevens is getting him, his really. 18th UFC really loss. It's really up to him if he wants to return. Asterisk lol. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Jeremy Steven... He's going to lose. I, I believe he's being used as a stepping stone now. There was a point where Jeremy was going up in the rankings for like really fast. I think it's when he fought Duho Choi. That's when he was like on a stride, like on a small little stride. But then after that, after he lost to Jose no, Aldo, that was it for him. Little heathen, yeah. He's gonna lose. The guy he's facing, he's a tough, tough. Guy. I haven't seen the other guy fight, but his record is is impressive. He has like one loss, something like that. Yeah, 18 and 1. Yeah, I'm always impressed with people with good records. Um, that's just how it is for me. I don't know. So, yeah, he's going to be... It's a, I think it's at 155 as well. So, he's making a move up. There's no way I win, bro. I'm not even paying attention. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I won. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Yep, especially if they're That's undefeated. That's true, Amon. That's true. That's just undefeated badass. Undefeated fighters are always very... Exciting. They are not on my level. Not one single individual Wait, they're fighting is on at 155. my level. I think so. I, th I saw that somewhere. Yeah, they are. I mean, Jeremy's opponent is a 155er. Unless something's messed up, I don't know. I'm looking at, at Google. Oh, nice. It says Jeremy, Jeremy Stevens is 145, and the other guy is 155. So I don't know what's going on. I don't give a shit about rankings. As far as I'm concerned, I'm number one. The hardest hitting 145. Uh, trying 155. <laughs> the 155. hardest hitting 155er. Uh, yeah. 
Who does? Oh, 145, right? Yeah. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Man, those were the times. Connor, he was just on another level. Pretty sad. I believe Connor, he lost that that aura or aura, like that fear. He would like get his. He would get his opponent. I heard when he knocks people out, they don't fucking the move fight. fearful. Like break them mentally. That's true, Amon. That is true. <laughs> Nobody moves when he hits them. But like I said, that's going to be an easy dub for the other guy. I can't even say his name. Kamrat? Matesu? Mateus? Gamra? But yeah, we'll did see. you see the video we where McGregor see. got into Jose Aldo's head? With the locker room footage. It pops up in my recommendations all the time. Yeah, I've seen the video of Jose Aldo crying in the locker room. Um, yeah. But I don't know, I don't know if that's what you're talking about. After the fight, right? Bro, if I lose against Ben Askren, fuck me. <laughs> I would delete the game. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. Clean shot. Clean fucking shot. Great. Let's get up. Fuck the ground game. Ha ha ha, imagine, against Askren. Leon Edwards plays so good. You'd be surprised how many good players are good with Ben Askren. It's crazy. Some people can dominate with Ben. But no way I lose to this bum. Nope. I defended that shit. Come on. I've never tried Ask Gren, to be honest. Uh, I try I've tried him a couple times. Uh, I mean, he's all right. I mean, he's not good. I'm just I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. He he sucks. <laughs> Tears of joy.
Okay, so I hurt this player twice. I got this. All right, good round for me. I was I guess Islam Makachev should be in this game after tonight. Yeah, I believe so. I saw what's what's it called the 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 EA Sports UFC director or a producer or whatever game developer. He says it takes like eight weeks to add. He should have a been already, but now they have no reason to not add him. So we'll see. Yeah, I agree. I mean, EA slacked so hard in this game. Like, it's insane. I believe they. It feels like they lost their passion and commitment to UFC. Damn eight weeks. I defended that takedown. Fuck. The ground game is it's so broken. Wow. Does DC do the fighters' ratings? All right. He's got low stamina. I'm going to pick him apart. I don't think so. He, I think he just announces it. He, he has nothing to do with it, I think. Right? Does that make sense? It would make sense if... I mean... I, th I think DC is just like um, he just announces the new changes. Oh, I see. Haha, <laughs> let's go. And not on my level, not one single individual is on my level gg that was a good fight it was getting a bit frustrating he got me down a couple times i mean this player shouldn't have gotten me down but he did but i won at the end of the day so let's go Are you watching the prelims? I'm not. I'm going to play for a while. I'm going to play until like 5.30. There's, a, there's some good fights on prelims. Daniel Rodriguez versus Preston Parsons. Huh. No prelims for me. No prelims. <laughs> yeah. It's not for everybody. I mean, some fight nights have good prelims or some pay-per-views have great prelims. But, I mean, I like the main card.
Yo, bro. TJ Dillashaw versus Corey I Sanhagen. usually watch them, not this now one. that's going to be an absolute banger. I can't wait. TJ's comeback? Let's go. I'm a huge fan of TJ. Me too. I actually, usually I watch the prelims, not going to lie. But, um, like I said, same, not this time. Oh, great. Who the fuck is this guy? They are not on my level. Not one single individual is on my level. I'm so hyped for that man. Maybe a little too excited tears of joy. I'd be more hyped about Sandhagen versus Dillashaw than Nganu versus Francis probably. I mean Nganu versus Jones. No way, really? Holy shit. I mean, I like TJ versus Corey, but come on, Francis versus Jones. I really said Nganu versus Francis, ha ha ha. Yeah, I love Dillashaw. I got Sir SAS yeah, when they postponed the fight. I'm a Dillashaw fan. Sad. I like him. Good fighter. He reminds me of like a smaller Robert Whitaker. Like his style. Very cool. I like his style. Have you seen his record? Like the superstition thing? Like he has four wins, four or four wins and then one loss. Four wins, one loss, four wins, one loss, four wins, one loss. Weird superstition. Or yeah, like he's pretty well rounded. Simulation type shit. Damn, I never noticed that about his record. Good fight, bro. Uh, that was weird. That was a weird knockout. They are not on my level. Not one single individual is on my level. Yeah, check it out. Check out his record. It's so weird. McGregor and Poirier both also never lost twice in a row. Now for the yeah, first Connor time for McGregor, McGregor he bro. lost twice in a row. That sucks. I, the thing is, Connor, he brought me into the sport. He brought me to the sport. So for for me seeing him lose like that, it's tough. But that's just, you know, it's okay. Life moves on. He'll be back, hopefully. <laughs> I see the Dillashaw thing you said, that's funny.
Yeah, it is. Another weird thing, it's um um when Kobe Covington fought Usman at the time, they had the same record. And the weirdest thing is Kobe's only loss I remember was I against saw a guy that Usman beat. Woodley knocking and out uh, Usman's only that loss was a fighter sport. that Kobe beat. That's so weird. Oh, Woodley knocking out Lawler. Oh, that's yeah. I remember. I remember that one. That was, that was a crazy knockout. And Robbie was on like on a on a high because he beat Rory, and then he beat Carlos Condit, and then he beat and he fought T Wood. Yeah, I remember that too. Usman versus Covington was really the great matchup. So he was like the super favorite. Yeah, so it, it was so weird. Kobe's only loss was to a guy that Usman beat. And Usman's only loss was to a guy that Kobe beat. And that's so, ran like, like a crossroads type stuff. Like they were meant to fight, <laughs> they were they're meant for each other. <laughs> the rematch, that's gonna be a good one. Can't wait. Usman versus Kobe two. Can't wait. And then after I saw that clip, I looked both men up and saw Lola versus Rory. I was like, "Yep, I'm definitely following this organization." Yeah, they were meant for each other. Tears of joy. Yeah, Lawler versus Rory McDonald was a fight for the ages. That's going to be... That, that fight's going to be told for centuries. What a great fight that was. You. Usman versus Covington 2 is definitely the fight I want to see the most. Yo, what's up, Robinson? Welcome back, bruh. Welcome back. Also, did you see Lawler and Nick Diaz are fighting again? Oh yeah, that's that's some big news. I, how did I forget? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. What do you think about the matchup? Lawler versus Diaz too. Man, pretty pretty cool. Nick Diaz coming back after like what four years? Damn. Five years maybe? Crazy. Seven. What does that mean? Seven. That's amazing. Seven years? Seven years. Holy shit. That's crazy. Again, going back to the jab. 
Bro, I hate that takedown. That's so annoying. <laughs> That's gonna be a interest, very interesting fight. Very, very. Personally, interesting. I think fighters being inactive is really, really bad. Oh yeah, 100%. It's not the best for a fighter to be inactive. It plays a big role in your performance. Like... It does, it really does. I mean, we've seen it time and time. We've seen it time and time again. Like, uh, for example, I stayed up all night for Connor to Connor, break his leg. John Jones, he hasn't looked the best recently. Um. Same Robinson lol. Yeah, so many fighters. You just have to be active. <laughs> yeah, that sucks for you guys. Uh, what was I going to say? I mean, I stayed up too pretty late. They fought. I remember from, when Dominic like Cruz at, and Sejudo were about to fight. A lot of people said Cruz would win, but I knew him coming of a four-year inactivity would be bad for him. Yeah, and especially going up, going up against Henry Cejudo... I mean, all the talk aside, he's a great fighter, you know. He's good. Um, yeah, that was a tough fight for Dominic. Dominic Cruz. Both great I fighters. I guy. Good guy. I hate these divisions. They're so bad. And Mass Vidal right. Yeah, Henry Cejudo, he's never going to come back. Mass Vidal. Creepy um, MF, Oscar and killing Mass Vidal. You think so? <laughs> like, what do you mean? You think Askren could have beat Masvidal? No, as in you met to him too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Right, right. I forgot. Holy shit. How did I forget? Yeah, I met him at, at the event, the UFC 241 in Anaheim. Yeah, pre-BMF. 
That was so fun. I want to go back to a live event. I heard Cody no love is dropped down to flyweight. Oh yeah, Cody. Maybe who knows? He could drop. I mean, that's a that's a tough cut. That's a tough tough cut. Um, but now that Sean O'Malley is back on track, the hype train. Who knows? Maybe Cody wants a shot at Sean. I like him. Win or lose, he always brings a spectacular fight. Yeah, he's never boring. He's never been in a boring fight. He needs to go train. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with Cody. He oh, must hey, be Master dealing Bill. with something outside of fighting, if anything. But I don't know. Neither I is O'Malley, so that should, would be an amazing train fight. With Trevor Whitman. I love Jorge That'd be a good pair. Who should train with Trevor? Cody Garbrandt. I know he's with he's with Mark Henry, but uh, it's really up to him. Cody Garbrandt and Trevor Whitman. I'm ready what for the TJ Dillashaw fight. That would be. YH Trevor needs to yeah, teach him not to block punches Robinson. with his chin lol. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the the good thing about next week, TJ versus uh Corey, is that th they're not gonna compete with Tyson and uh Wilder three. Because Tyson versus Wilder got post postponed. Oh, that's good. My birthday is July 31st. Oh, shit, that's soon. Wow. That's that's dope. How old are you going to turn? Like what? 15? Nice. Almost Robinson. Oh shit. No love is one to four in his last five in Bantamweight. I think him dropping to fly is a good idea. You think so? I don't know, man. That chin. Would love to see a change. Can I handle it? Whatever works out best for cut? him. Who knows? I 
I mean, I'm hearing Cody wants to move down and Davison Figueredo wants to move up. I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah, you got a point. I watch UFC for free on websites lol I'm shitting Dana out of money. <laughs> Robinson, what the fuck, mate? Don't worry. I ain't no snitch. <laughs> Figgy is really big for his weight. Yeah, Cody is big for a uh, bantamweight. So moving down, it's Robinson. That's, watch Dana that's, show uh, up on your birthday in two weeks. That's weird. He's coming for you. <laughs> Robinson, you better watch out. Delete your history. Get VPN. Nah, the bro, million or not millions, like thousands of people do that. So, don't worry. Holy shit. Sean O'Malley is big for his weight. That's true, Robinson. That is true. Look, I'm going to tell you this. Sean O'Malley, he's big for Bantamweight, but I think if he moves up, he's small. It's similar to Max Holloway. Sean O'Malley is tall. Max is very big for Featherweight. But moving up to Lightweight, I mean, he's small. So it's very strange. I feel like it takes it's gonna take years for them. Yeah, it's kinda to in fill between. Yeah, strange body types. I mean they're very tall, skinny. So yeah. They're good though. Sean and Max Holloway. I mean, Max Holloway is on another level, right? But Sean O'Malley is getting there. He's, he's gonna he's gonna be in the top very soon, like in two years. I can't wait for Sean O'Malley's next fight. Who do you guys think he's gonna fight? I believe Sean O'Malley is gonna Feather fight is better Frankie for Max Edgar. Instead of Lido, Mark my words. By far. Bookmark it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like they're both like at a weird, like a weird point where they're small for, or they're big for the weight class, but small for the upper weight class. Okay. O'Malley so, yeah. versus Edgar would be dope. I'll be right back. I think there might be a rematch 100%. Rematch between who? Sean O'Malley and Cheeto Vera? I don't think so. Yeah. Soon. Nah, I think Sean... He's not scared of Cheeto, but I think Sean believes he's, like, better than Cheeto. Like, he doesn't deserve, or Cheeto doesn't deserve a fight with him, in a way. Even though Cheeto won. But who knows, we'll see.
Wait, hold up, hold up. Yo, Robinson. Uh, where is it at? Yo. Check out this video if you haven't checked it out. Leave a like. I'm proud of HTTPS colon slash slash YouTube dot de slash seven eight five TF ethics bay you. I did not know it was going to do that. Welcome I'm back, back. Amon. Welcome back. <laughs> O'Malley versus Cheeto Vera rematch. Yes, that's no. what I'm saying. That's not going to happen. The, the, the UFC has to build up other schmucks, you know? The, the matchups that can be made are phenomenal. The UFC Bantamweight division is at a point where it's so exciting. I mean, it's just great. It hasn't been like this in, in forever. And to be honest, I'll be honest, it, it's all thanks to Sean O'Malley. I mean, all, all the fighters are great, but Sean O'Malley, he's, he's doing something that no Bantamweight has done in a while. Since like Dominic Cruz, I watched all your videos. All right, thanks, Robinson. Thanks, thank you. You're the best. You're the best in the West. Him on the south. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome, I got six viewers. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. I'm pretty tired. I just came back from work, you know, pretty drained. Um, still hanging there. I'm still going to watch the UFC. So it feels it feels like a Sunday, to be honest. Do you ever, you, yeah, you guys ever feel that fun way? To watch. Like, I want to see him fight another ranked opponent, though. Where you work at? Uh, uh, I work somewhere. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I work. Where you work at? Where you Robinson. work at? Relax. <laughs> Where you work at? Yeah, sometimes it does feel like a different day. Oh no, tears of joy. Oh, that was a nice head kick. Wow. 
wow. My body is fucked, mate. Damn, this guy is picking my body apart. I'm gonna catch him with... I don't even know. Ah, oh, great, 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 great. No way he... Oh, that was close. Let's go. Holy crap. That was really, really close. Robinson, <laughs> data works at the no USC way this guy behind the scenes. Me. He's about to snitch you for streaming Dana White's fight size. I do, Robinson. You never texted me. <laughs> I'm on that. That's a good one. I'm on. That's really good. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Ro Robinson, you better watch out, bruh. They are not on my level. Not one single individual is on oh my shit, level. Oh shit, sorry, cold sweat smile. <laughs> That's funny. Grin. So yeah, okay. So oh yeah, all right, all right. we're gonna go back to uh, TJ versus Corey. What's your prediction? You guys believe TJ is gonna win or Corey? And like by how? KO, decision, submission. TJ. Ah, it's tough. I I see it. I see the fight similar to TJ versus Dominic Cruz. Um, it could it can go all the way. Let's see. And we got to take into perspective, TJ is coming back from a two-year layoff. Damn. It's really tough. I'm surprised Corey took the fight. I mean, to Submissions. be honest, he could have waited until Peter Yan fought Aljo. So yeah. Prime TJ, but Bro, I'm telling you that inactivity is fucked up resume. tears of joy. If Corey beats TJ, really that's a really choke. good name. On the resume. Yeah, inactivity. And Sam Hagen is hot RN. Never forgives anybody. Yeah, Corey, he's on fire. <laughs> um, great matchup. You gotta, you gotta thank the UFC for uh, doing these matchups. I mean, nobody does it like them. Not boxing. Not, not no other MMA promotion. The UFC is on a another level. You know who else is fighting on that card? Mickey Gall. Mickey Gall, he's been having a tough time. Very tough time. Uh, finding his rhythm. And uh, Macy Barber is coming back as well. Holy crap. What's your Instagram, Aman? Darren Elkins. I but Darren Darren Elkins had a comeback of the year the a while ago. I'll never forget that. That was crazy. The future Barbara, yeah, man. She has so much potential. She's super, super young. Let's see how she does. And she's coming she's coming back. From a tough loss to Alexa Grasso. 
So we'll see how she does. I don't really use Insta a lot, cold sweat smile. I don't like watching girl fight. <laughs> Whoa, Robinson, what the fuck, mate? Now, nah, respect, uh, I mean, it's really up to the person, right? And yeah, girl fights don't really attract a lot of fans, I guess. Sexist. Sexist, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Robinson is his own human being. Nah, JK, he can do whatever some really good girl fights, wants. though. Yeah, some girl fights are good, like Valentina, Amanda Nunes, Rose Namajunas. I prefer men fights, Joanna, though. Joanna, John Chick. Yeah, I, I, for me, personally, I don't mind. I like any. Men, girls woman whatever all right let's let's get off that <laughs> now i love me some valentina shevchenko yeah valentina she's a fucking beast we'll never miss a fight from the women division one like soon, valentina the... joanna and rose yeah great great fighters always exciting to be honest She's sexy. Um, she's sexy, yeah. <laughs> That's very true. Um, what do y'all think about the heavyweight interim belt situation? LMAO. Oh, great question. Um, I believe that's super, super fun. Valentina's up, doing really good too now. Uh, from part of the UFC. Extremely, extremely fucked up. Like, what kind of message are you sending about Francis? Like, that's so weird. And I heard Francis wanted to fight a month later from the date. And for them to make an interim just because he didn't want to fight see Valentina on the day that versus Rose. they wanted him to fight, it's so stupid. I don't, Robinson. I don't think she, I don't think they'll ever fight. From when I from what I know and from what I heard, I mean from Rose, right? Rose said uh, Valentina is her friend, and uh, they don't want to fight, and that's plain and simple. They never did this when Stipe was champ, and we all know Dana don't even like Stipe, lol. That's very true. He doesn't like Stipe. Stiopid. Stipo <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Stiopic Joey Diaz voice. Um, yeah, so I have no idea what's going on. Or whatever Joey Diaz called him, Tears of Joy, Tears of Joy. Yeah, he called him, he called him Stiopic. <laughs> that was funny. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, like I said, that's just super disrespectful to Francis. And almost kind of Derek Lewis as well. Disrespectful to him. I mean, he, Derek Lewis should have gotten the shot right away. Um, but whatever. And that's a tough matchup for. De I believe Derek Lewis. He's gonna get finished. Yeah, man. 
or picked apart to a decision. Cyril Gain is no joke. He is as legit as it gets. How do you I see said it Ganyu months versus years ago going? when he started his debut. Him, yeah, probably. Um, Francis versus Lewis too. I believe it was gonna be very different from the first fight. I really do. Francis, he's confident as ever now. Derek Lewis as well. So I believe they were gonna give it their all. They were gonna give Seven it their likes. all. Seven likes. Nice. Very nice. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Yeah, I remember us two talking about Gain before he was even in the UFC 4 and before he fought JDS even lol. Yeah, I do I I really do remember that. We called we called it. Crazy. He's going to... Oh, I mean, I like Francis. I really like Francis as champ, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. What about Nganu versus Zero Gain? Gain, he's Gain no likes joke. to he pick used people to train apart from Francis. the outside, and Nganu likes to push forward with his power. It, it, with Francis, it only takes one shot, you know? <laughs> one fucking shot. But Cyril Gain, um, he's very smart. His fight IQ, his octagon I IQ, in octagon IQ, it's very high. So, um, to be honest, if Cyril Gain can survive the first two rounds, he can pick Francis apart. That's pretty much it. Even even the first round almost. But Cyril Gain, he's so smart. He fights very uh, mature. For the amount of fights he has in MMA, very mature. So he he can pick Francis apart. But we'll One see shot what happens indeed, with, but since Gain Derek has Lewis. a high fight IQ, he can do what Stipe did to Nganu in their first fight. Yeah. I agree. But Gain has to get past Derek first. Um... Air Sports UFC MMA 4 is a mixed martial arts Anything fighting video game happen. developed by Air Vancouver and published by Air Sports. Serving as the sequel to Air Sports UFC 3, it was released on August 14, 2020. Anthony Joshua's twin. Robinson, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Tears of Did joy. Did you just copy paste my uh, description? <laughs> yeah, Anthony Joshua's yeah. twin. Yeah, that's true. So, 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 uh, interesting hey, that they sports, really do UFC look alike. Four is a mixed martial arts fighting video game developed by Don't Air Vancouver again, and Robinson. published by Air Sports. Serving as the sequel to Air Sports UFC 3, it was released on August 14th, 2020. That's funny, but, but uh, don't do it again. Yes, sir, I will not. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, who's fighting on the Derek Lewis card? There's so many good matchups coming up.
This man is tired. Let's go. I've been streaming for one hour and seven minutes. Let's go. Noons I like versus it. Pena. Jose Aldo versus Pedro Amanda Munoz. Nunes is gonna rip Pena's head off and play football with it. It's not gonna be competitive at all. Trust me. Mark my words. Amanda Nunes is basically doing an armed robbery, legal armed robbery in front of us. And we're still going to watch. Oh yeah, Jose Aldo versus Pedro Munez. That's going to be a good fight. I got I got Jose on that one. Tough fight. But we'll see. IK Art Noons is crazy. Ha ha ha. It's gonna be a good fight. Do you think Aldo is the featherweight goat? I hear a lot of people saying this. For me, it's Max all the way, though. For me, look, the thing about goat status for me. I mean, who are any of us to say who's the go and who's not, really? And there's been different eras all the time. So, for me, Max Holloway is the go because I watched him from the start. I can't say Jose because I never watched the Jose fight pre-UFC. True, but let's keep it this way. Max, Aldo. I got Max. Max Holloway. That's who I got. I mean, Max finished him twice. Exactly. So yeah, I got Max. Is there really a debate for it at that point? Uh, there's debate, but I mean, like I said, it really depends who you ask. There's some people who've been watching Jose since his MMA Aldo beating Munoz, debut. Though. I hope so. I hope Jose Aldo beats Pedro, but uh, it's going to be a tough, good fight. And Jose Aldo, he's still young. What, what is he, like 34, 33? It's crazy that Conor McGregor made, us, made fans think Jose was an old man. When he was just a year older than Connor. So crazy. So mentally crazy. Connor's manipulation is something else. I think Jan versus Dixera was supposed to be on the same card, but they moved it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I think they did move it they, they, needed, they needed a title fight for a different pay-per-view.
Wow. I'm barely surviving. Fuck. I think I'm losing the fight. Fuck. I think I am losing the fight. Fuck, and I. Wow. Good fight. I wasn't even paying attention. Crap. Let's see. Let's see if I was losing. I probably was. Great. I try I drop down to division 19. I absolutely despise light heavyweight and heavyweight division in this game. Yeah, I was losing. That nah, was a good fight. Look what's happened in 2021 so far. Adesanya lost his zero. McGregor broke his foot. Jim Jones is taking a year off, he said. Stipe lost Nganu champ, though. Yeah, 2021 has been a crazy year for the UFC. Connor, remember, Con Connor lost twice in 2021. My fuck me. Yeah, is he losing his zero? That sucked, but you know, respect to Jan. Great champ. John John Jones. I really want to see John Jones fight Francis or Stipe. Just they they just gotta pay the man. They have to pay him. Pretty pretty simple, right? Yeah, both great shoms. Yeah. Many Jones people is being say Jiri. I, I don't even know his last name. Jones is being a bitch. Uh, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, he deserves a big payday, kind of, in a way. Jerry yeah, he, he's something never like cracked things. a million pay-per-view buys, but, I mean, he's a phenomenal fighter. Yeah, Jiri, they, they, people are saying he might be the next light heavyweight champion. And I kind of agree. I do. I mean, Jan Blokowicz, he has to get through Glover first. You know, you know, the crazy thing is, we were supposed to see Izzy versus John Jones this year. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Jerry versus Jan would be so good. Oh. 
Oh yeah, it would. But if Jam Blockowicz beats Jiri, I mean, fuck. That'd be crazy. Jiri does get hurt. Get he gets hit and hurt a lot. Adesanya versus Jones was fun at For the beginning, but I DK guy. to be honest, man. Yeah, I don't think that fight's gonna happen ever. I mean, never say never, but I mean. I don't but see still. the fight go any different than Izzy versus Jan. That's true. I think, I think John w would wrestle fuck Izzy. I mean, what's next for Izzy is Robert Whitaker, so that's gonna be a good fight. There's a, there's really good middleweight contenders coming up. I can't wait for the division to blow up more. Would be a fun press conference though. We got Jones Darren versus Till. Izzy He's still in the joy. mix. Funny rivalry. Yeah. It would have been it would have been a good one. But like I said, never say never. Um Who knows? We might see it in the future. Oh, I saw and heard Edmund Shabazian, he he moved to uh, AKA. That's promising. He's training over with DC, Khabib, uh, Kane Velasquez, Luke Rockhold. Who do you Osman think and Izzy are doing fight? so well in Luke their own weight classes. Paula Costa. Yeah, they are. Usman and Izzy, they're doing really great. The thing that stands that out would to be me a nice one. from Usman is his striking. He's getting way better. But Leon Edwards said something Being very about interesting. To go like, eat. Usman also better not fall in Costa love with striking or else canceled. he's going to get clipped. Very interesting. Bro, Paulo Costa, I, I called it out months ago. He is a pullout merchant. Robins, Robinson... Enjoy Hot. eating. All right, I appreciate take care, you Robinson. stopping by. Even if it's for like a minute. If you stop by and say hi, that's great. It, it really, It's really great. So I appreciate it, Robinson. Like I said, enjoy your food. See you next time. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Paulo Costa. Paulo Costa, he is a pull-out merchant. I mean, all the matchups he's pulled out of is crazy. I'm still gonna get that Instagram, man. Tears of joy, tears of joy. Instagram. Sober Costa still undefeated. Wine. <laughs> Sober Costa. <laughs> I 
He is the best. Undefeated mentally. I really wanted to see Paulo Costa versus Robert Whitaker. That would have been a great fight. Really great. I mean, I don't get it. He gets injured or he has... He's very stubborn. I don't know why. He's so talented. For him to waste his time with whatever he's doing... Uh, very interesting. I mean, it, it is his life. He can do whatever the fuck he wants, but still. Check out the first two minutes of Izzy's most recent video. Wow. It was funny ASF tears of joy. Elbows. An yeah, Man YouTube Whitaker channel? versus Costa would be great. Oh, with his brother? I think I saw that video. I laughed so hard. Yeah, with the play button. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that's funny. I saw that video too. I just saw it like a couple days ago. Where he humped his brother and put the Costa flashback. Yeah, that's funny. I disapprove. <laughs> I I disapprove. Just approve. That's right. His brother looks like him too, though. Tears of joy. Just a bigger, fatter version. Yeah, but bigger. <laughs> bigger, fatter, yeah. Fuck, bro. Bro, this guy is spamming like a motherfucker. Very random, but I like Tai Two of Us's last performance. Good co. Yeah, Tai Tuvasa. He got hurt in the first like exchange, really. But yeah, he got it done. Good for him.
Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what he does next. That's crazy. He can he can be matched up with uh with uh Francis and all those guys. And he's a young guy, I think. He's like in his late twenties, I think, maybe. Oh my god. Not gonna lie, I myself picked Wonderboy Thompson too, but I feel like many people overlooked Burns for losing to Usman and getting code by Hooker. Burns has a bad chin though, but he's still dangerous. Yeah, I agree. I picked I picked Thompson. Thompson yeah, yeah. Um, Burns. I mean, anybody can get clipped. To be honest, uh, he is tough. But I don't see him beating Usman ever. We'll see what he does next. I think they should make Leon versus Burns. Oh, great, bro. This guy just wants to wrestle. Fuck. Anybody can get clipped, but Burns got hurt by Usman's jab. Burns versus Edwards would be cool. Yeah. Leon would, uh, he, he would beat Burns, I believe. I think so too. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Strong bottom work. I defended that. Come on. The game cannot be allowed to let players do this. I did not mean to do that. I don't get it. Oh, great. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, he postured up there. Gained some valuable separation. Holy shit. Nope. Do you know Bro, Deagle Fly, a UFC 4 streamer? Fuck. Yeah, I know that guy. Fook that guy, yeah? I'm, I'm joking. Now, uh, yeah, he's a great, great player. Um... 
What was I gonna say? Yeah, me and him are pretty are pretty tied up. Is the fight time? Wow. Ha 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 ha. Y'all played me, each other bro. before. We just threw a random fucking elbow or knee. What the fuck? Look at this guy. Oh, great. Players like these make the game so bad. Wow, look at that. Atario Shams, the main card starts in two hours from now. Wow. I knew it. This guy has no stamina. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Players can do this to anybody. It's so annoying. Wow, look at that shit. Fuck. Oh shit, welcome, welcome, Ario. Yeah, I look get placed so against stank, these stank. kind you of players in ranked sometimes. When he does that shit. Hence why I don't play it as much. I almost broke my PlayStation the other day for... <laughs> oh, damn, bro. I used to be like that. I used to get really, really mad. Like, trust me, like... It was not good. It was not good at all. You just gotta. The I game does so not define hard. me. So yeah. Like full power. Um, that's just part of the game. There's players like this everywhere. But at the end of the day. I don't give a shit about rankings. As far as I'm concerned, I'm number True. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice one, tears of joy. I don't give a shit about rankings. I know I'm a really great player. It's just this game, you can never be good or bad. I don't believe there's a great player in this game. It's just whoever can cheese the most, whoever can use exploits the most. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all it comes down to. And that's a fact. I mean, the game is as unrealistic as it gets. You ready? All right, are you ready? Let's go, guys, fight. Look, this is an easy dub. You should have just sent me location as voice button. Ha, ha, ha.
I'm gonna I'm gonna add that one soon. Probably like when I get off right now. That's a good one. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna add. You think I saw your current opponent you? has that selected That's as his fighter too. quote. Oh, that's okay. That's where you saw that. Yeah. This guy wants to wrestle. Let's wrestle. That would be a good one too. Ha ha ha. Let's wrestle because it's so realistic. This guy's not going to beat me, bro. This guy thinks he's good. Okay. Nice. Is this in feather or lightweight? This is a featherweight. Let's fucking wrestle. You want to wrestle, pussy? Yeah. Damn, this guy. He's fucking committed. To the ground game. God bless his soul. <laughs> Damn, bro. That's crazy. Where did this come from? They buffed Quarius take down defense, which makes no like, sense. I mean, that's, that's just very boring. <laughs> it does rhyme. Oh, did they buff it? Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. He hasn't faced a wrestler since Khabib. But whatever. Eat that knee, yeah? Fucking A. Quarrier didn't even take McGregor down. McGregor took it down knee. via guillotine. Yeah, McGregor... Um, what is it? What did he say? He, he pulled him down. Bro, this guy is something else. Okay, I gotta stop playing around. I really, tr I really gotta try and get up. Damn, bro, this guy. What is he doing, lol? What's up with him? I know he he wants to wrestle. That's crazy. I mean, he's winning until that. This guy has horrible, horrible IQ. He's playing his, his WrestleMania or so something. Bad. <laughs> yeah, seems like it. Let's 
get up. Actually, you know what? Fuck, I should have stayed on him. He probably thinks I'm scared of some He's shit. He's winning. Asterisk lands clean hook until you. now. Oh, shit, tears now of I'm joy, tears of joy. There we go. Haha, <laughs> good fight, bruh. <laughs> They're not on my level. Not one single individual is on my level. Yeah, that guy, I have no idea what he was doing. He was just trying to wrestle fuck me. Got him clean. Yeah, he hurt me there once. That was... But he didn't do no damage. I evaded all his other punches after. Let's see fight stats. Yeah, he went for 10 takedowns. He hurt me once. I knocked him down four times. I hurt him once. In back. Yeah. Good fight. Oh, Robinson, welcome back, bro. What's up? What did you eat? I just, I just beat a spam. I was eating Taco bum. Bell. Yeah, what did you eat? Nice Taco Bell. Yeah, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. It's a uh, good food. I used to I used to eat there a lot back then, but I just got a bit tired of it. I used to get the what's that taco that it's like a soft taco outside a hard taco that's a really good taco. <laughs> I've never had Taco Bell. It looks delicious, though. Yeah, Taco Bell, it's... Yeah, it's an elite fast food chain. Great food. What is that? What is that taco called? I was eating nachos. Oh, the, the double decker taco. That's a really good taco. Nachos, nice. I get the five layer. Nacho's nice. Bro, I threw an, an uppercut. Wow. Oh, I tried to. I tried to.
This guy is good. You know what I started doing? I, I just started. Um, it's make, I made a Smurf account, which is like, I guess it's like when uh, you just make an, a new account and just try and be like the top players with it. It's pretty fun. There we go. Connor S. Deloda Chen. Since you start at level 1, your mean? opponents are in for a surprise. Exactly, bro. You start in Division 0. So it's what very funny. What does that mean? Funny. Ha ha ha. Wow. That was a clean pullback. What the fuck? What does it mean? Yo, Connor, what the fuck? Young is Cletus, up? what's poppin'? Welcome back. Welcome back, Connor. I, I gotta start getting used to letting the TTS finish before I speak. <laughs> Connor 14 goat. Yeah, Connor is an absolute bum. Yeah, he broke his leg. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Our man, how's life? of shit doing great wby and what did you think of ufc 263 tough fight tough tough fight. asterisk ufc 264 oh that was nice not nice read that was a really really nice read fuck That was a good fight. Fuck, how does this guy beat me? All good folded hands and what a let down one round we got. Wow. Bro, how did this guy beat yeah, me? Yeah, sad to see the trilogy end like the way it did. Fucking dick. <laughs> Hot.
What an insane way to end the stream. Like, come on. It's basically like I didn't even play today. Crazy. I started off with way more points than I did than I have right now. I'm like, wow. Fook and A Connor, how can I forget that? Fuck. Such a rookie mistake. Yeah, I got like 30 minutes in me left, and then I'm out of here. When this division ends, fuck the woman's division. Great. This guy. Wait, what do you mean, Connor? What is what the fuck does that mean? Barboza? Uh, bro, if somebody chooses Barboza, I would rip them limb from limb. I mean, you, you gotta be an elite of the elite. You have to be the elite of the elite to beat me with Edson Barboza. I like I liked Barboza and UFC three. UFC four uh, not so much. <laughs> UFC three Barboza was a fucking killer. He was so good. What the hell? Crazy, cra crazy, crazy pace.
check his stats. Yeah, I'll give him. I'll give him a shot. Pro probably after this fight. Bro, how come it TTS is off or what? What the fuck is going on? I can't hear you guys. That sucks. What did I do wrong? Oh shit. Oh, that's why. Holy shit. Alright, I got it. Hmm, there we go. I had the I had the desk 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 top audio off. Fuck. Slap. <laughs> give him, give him a slap. I'm just running into his shots constantly. Fuck. Nice. That was that was clean. Okay. Okay. Fuck, that was fast. Holy shit. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to There we go. You're not going to take Wow, bro. Come on. That was that was nice though. Not not going to lie. Bro, how am I losing now? Okay, I got this. No problem, yeah. Where, how does he do that? Holy shit. <laughs> My timing is so off. <laughs> Holy crap, I almost got KO'd. Hmm. Bro. Start your combo there. with a hook. No, bro. He's he's gonna move back or duck. This guy's pressure. 
Hmm. Like, these players, they come out of nowhere sometimes. Like, you never know how they're going to play. I'm s Wow. Wow. Hmm. Bro. How is he doing this? Fuck. My yeah, my I'm way off my game right now. So off my game. He's gonna throw an elbow. Dude, I pulled back. Come on. That's so stupid. What is <laughs> ah. that was a great performance way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. You gotta be kidding me. I'm telling you, these players they're they're not real. I mean they can't be real. they just come out of nowhere. Like some players I haven't even Headstone played Cletus. in forever, they just come back and beat me. Come on. Yeah, bro, that motherfucker killed me. Bro, he outclassed me, bro. That was no competition. Gave Edson a try. Yeah, I got 16 minutes. Let's make it count. No way. No, I feel if I choose Edson at this point, I'm going to lose because I have never used Edson in UFC 4. So it's going to feel super weird, but whatever. Trust me. I'll choose him. Fuck it. Man's a sniper, ULLC. <sighs> okay, yeah, we will see. Look, now the game is trying to find a bum for me to beat. Come on. I started I started off the stream so good and right at the end, you know, it is what it is. There we go. Bro, if I lose, you're banned for life, Connor. <laughs> That's funny.
His body kicks her up. Okay, we'll see. Why do you only stream when there's a UFC fight going on? The streams are too fun to only watch once per week. He has the best kick power in LW and FW. This motherfucker is blocking every kick, bruh. Um, I don't stream on fight night fight nights fuck um this is the first time in a while i like streaming the day before fight nights um but i'm yeah like i like that's my new thing i'm only going to stream once a week per event it's pretty cool I like and I might stream too, Dead by great. Daylight. Yo, every yo, everybody watching. Connor, Amon, Robinson. Get um Dead by Daylight. Let's play that shit. I wanna start streaming it. I did stream it before for a while. But I just stopped playing it. Just to get into UFC 4. Oh shit. Right in the face. <laughs> the Dead by Daylight ones that shit, were really like fun too. Yeah, they were really fun. I want to start playing with viewers. That'll be super fun. I want to. I'm gonna make a Discord, so stay tuned for that one day. <laughs> Let's wrestle. Fucking made Max Holloway into a wrestler. Pussy. <laughs> All right, yeah, Connor, you're right. Edson's not bad. Tears of joy. His kicks are, are, are good. Flick stick towards him when he attempts running takedown. Oh shit. Okay, Otherwise yeah, I'll keep it drains your time. Yeah, I forget to. It's so confusing. You have to flick up, down, to toward the fighter. I mean. I'm going to win this fight. Oh, shit. Okay. His body is done. Ah. Yeah, I feel it. 
My legs are done though, fuck. I'm at one kick to the leg and I'm done. This guy's not bad. What the fuck? <laughs> the fucking ghost. Oh shit. Come on. Wait, what tears of joy? TF was that. Bro, I, f I flicked towards him and he it didn't do anything. Who do you think's winning? I don't even know, bro. Fuck. Let's see. Build cap. Oh, I think he's winning. Ah, oh, bro, I have to finish him. Ready. Fuck me. Oh, great. Bro. He is. Come on. One spinning kick, he's done. Wow. You got it. Bro, how is this guy beating me? No, bro, I don't know. This guy... He has Max. Fucking Max Holloway. I just, I, for, I just realized. And he's blocking the body. Good. Ah. Oh. Hmm. All he has to do is just run away and he wins. I can't hurt him. I cannot hurt him. Holy crap. Bro, Edson fucking sucks. Roundhouse. I can't even hit Tears him with the of joy. Kick. Are you joking? He's backing up all the time. Wow. Data's never picking Barboza again. If I, if I had Max, I would have smoked this guy. I can't even hurt him with a fucking counter. That was a clean counter. Wow. Bro, imagine I killed him like that. Bro, my kick Kevin break his guard. Oh, this is five rounds. Holy shit. Never mind. <laughs> I can still do it. <laughs> Why did I think it was three? Oh, then I, I'm so dumb. I just gassed myself out thinking it was three rounds. There we go.
I could have been smarter. I could have picked my shots. Wow. I still got good stamina. There we go. Get on him. Let's go. Hell yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, bro. My hands are sweating. <laughs> and not on my level. Not one the single spinning individual kicks me is on my level. GG lol. GG. 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 Wow. Ha ha. Bro, this guy was picking me apart, bro. I told you, you had it. Holy crap. My hands are sweating. <laughs> That was wild. What a comeback. What a fucking comeback. They are not on my level. Not one single individual is on my level. I have something the rest of you will never, ever have. The will to be the best. Okay, yeah, he won the first. I mean, I heard him twice. Hmm. Where is the not on my level quote from? He won the second. Um. He won the third. He won. The, yeah, he was winning, bros. He was fucking winning. Um, it's Connor. Um, it's on the. It's in the UFC 197 press conference at the very end with Rafael dos Anjos. Rafael dos Anjos. Sup. Yo, Quan, bro, welcome back. Long time no see. What's new? What you been up to? Yeah, yeah, um, Amon, it's, um, the press conference where Connor was dressed like El Chapo. Very last minute of the press conference. I leveled he said up it. too prestigious doing XP glitch. I recognized McGregor's voice but couldn't figure out where or when he said it. Try Mike Johnson. Foo choir, you, 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 you. Ha ha. Hot. <laughs> Bro, Connor, I barely, barely beat the other motherfucker. No way I would choose Michael fucking Johnson. Ha ha ha. Holy shit. Alright. Last fight of the stream. Let's go. Let's get the dub.
Easy dub, easy fucking dub. Oh shit. This guy's gonna use all his stamina. Five rounds, baby. Five fucking rounds. Easy win. This guy is not on my level. You see, now this guy's going through a EA algorithm moment. He's gonna lose now. Oh, great, nice. Let's go, hell yeah. They are not on my level. Not one single individual is on my level. <laughs> what a great way to end Dirty the Cletus. stream. I love it. I fucking love it. Yeah, th this whole nice. stream I've been on borrowed time. My eyes are heavy. Oh, fuck. Hot. Still got to watch Islam fight. Catch you next time, bro, scissor. Black heart. Enjoy the fight. Oh, yeah, the women's divisions. Fook all that noise. Peace out, my boy. Our all man, right. scissor. Amon, Connor, Review, Robinson... Quan, I appreciate you guys stopping by. It means a lot. Connor 14 says I'll be back this Friday. And if I do stream before Friday, um I'll play Dead by Daylight. I got a funny thumbnail for that one. Uh and my TJ Dillashaw Corey Sanhagen thumbnail is an absolute banger. One of my favorites so far. So yeah, I'll catch you guys. Next time, enjoy the fights, stay safe, have a good night, peace.